There are lots of secrets in Super Mario Odyssey, and among these are the power moves. These mini challenges can range from very easy to very hard, and today we are ranking the top 10 hardest moons to collect in Super Mario Odyssey. And obviously, spoilers are ahead. Bound Bowl. You play as a bouncy yeti and race by pressing B as he hits the ground. That's it. That's the gist of it. But hidden deep within Snow Kingdom, it's a secret race course, one that literally took me an entire afternoon to do. Ice Burn Circuit Class S. You'd think these are like the races would work a little bit like Super Mario 64's slide, but nope, not at all. This moon is just stupidly hard. Long journeys end, and uh, oh my gosh, do I even have to explain? Just, just look at the clip. What is even going on here? All of this work, all of this build-up, for just a measly multi-moon. Completionists like me have a love-hate relationship with challenges like this. Don't get me wrong, it's no Grandmaster Galaxy, but it's up there. Beach Volleyball. Ugh, this is the third most tedious thing in the game, after the next two on this list. The volleyball minigame has you bouncing a ball 100 times, but what really makes this hard is the fact that it takes so long to do at first, then the ball picks up speed, then before you know it, the ball is moving at light speed. And let me rem remind you, 100 bounces. Ugh. Breakdown Road. More like Breakdown and Cry Road. This level literally feels like a Kaizo level. You have to walk across a stone bridge to grab a key. Easy enough. Then you have to activate a Bonsai Bill Launcher and do... Eight consecutive long jumps. Wait, what? Okay, if you didn't like the volleyball one, you're gonna hate this next one. The infamous jump rope challenge. This one is pure pain. And you cannot mess up any jumps and even the slightest misinput will mess you up. 